وَأَقُولُوا فِي الْقُرْآنِ مَا جَاءَتْ بِهِ آيَاتُهُ فَهُوَ الْكَرِيمُ الْمُنْزَلُ وَأَقُولُوا قَالَ اللَّهُ جَلَّ جَلَالُهُ وَالْمُصْطَفَى الْهَادِي وَلَا أَتَأَوَّلُ How do we keep ties with relatives when our sittings end up revolving around gossip and backbiting and we see the negative effect on our children? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam ala abdillahi wa rasulih Nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in This is a very common question and it's really an excellent question in the sense that it shows that the person asking the question has realized the problem with these gatherings is that they gather together with their relatives in order to keep ties with the best of intentions but the sitting ends up revolving around haram, gossip, backbiting, slander, whatever it might be, rumors or so on. And even the children are becoming affected. The answer here is not to cut off from those relatives, but to change the habits that you have. This might require changing the way you behave towards them, including advising them. And it does require a person to be brave. I remember uh, a gathering. I wasn't present in the gathering, but uh, I was told about it by someone who was present, that there were a group of people together, they had gathered together for the sake of Allah and the conversation turned towards backbiting. And one of the participants in that gathering was brave enough, may Allah bless them, they were brave enough to stand up and say that I think we should stop our conversation here and change the subject because this is an example of backbiting, it's not right. That requires bravery, but ultimately it is possible to do. The first time you do it, it might, it might require a lot of bravery, but once you get used to it, it becomes a norm for you. Ultimately, you have to change the way that you behave towards those relatives. You can't just keep going and keep getting involved in those gatherings, but you still need to find a way to keep ties with them, uh, including advising them and so on. The problem with cutting off is that if you cut off from them, Number one, cutting the family ties itself is sinful. And number two, they won't actually stop their backbiting. But if you can't speak up to stop the evil, you can't sit in that particular gathering. That doesn't mean you have to cut off from them completely, but you can't sit in that gathering. And that's why, because Allah told us in the Quran, وَقَدْ نَزَّلَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي الْكِتَابِ أَنْ إِذَا سَمِعْتُمْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ يُكْفَرُ بِهَا أَوْ يُسْتَهْزَأُ بِهَا فَلَا تَقْعُدُوا مَعَهُمْ حَتَّى يَخُوضُوا فِي حَدِيثٍ غَيْرِهِ إِنَّكُمْ إِذَنْ مِثْلُهُمْ And it has been revealed to you certainly in the book that if you hear the ayat of Allah being disbelieved in or made fun of, then do not sit with them until they change to a different and become involved in a different speech. If you do, then you are like them. So it's not allowed for a person, it's not possible for a person to sit in that gathering while backbiting is taking place and say nothing. They have to leave the gathering. However, what they need to do is find a way to keep ties with those relatives in a way that changes that dynamic and changes those habits, either by speaking up or changing the, the times you meet or the way you meet instead of meeting together in the house with negative influences upon the children, maybe meet together in your house, for example, maybe meet together somewhere outside where it's possible to control the conversation a little more, maybe invite a third person to this gathering who has the bravery to be able to speak up, for example. You have to keep the ties, but you have to change the way and the dynamic of the and the habits that are happening in those gatherings. And ultimately, if you can't do it, you can't attend that gathering. And Allah knows best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.